share with you today about metabolism, how to increase your metabolism, ramp your metabolism up, speed up your metabolism, how, how, what is metabolism? That's where we're going to start. Most it is a rainy Monday morning and I love it. See, first of all, let me, let me talk about a few things before we get into the metabolism and, and how to rev up your metabolism and what metabolism is. See, so many people I know set their mood by the weather. Um, it's, it's raining out, they get depressed, it's, uh, the cold is going to be coming, setting in by the end of the week, it's going to be too hot, and it affects their outlook on, on their daily events. We can't control the weather. So in other words, embrace the weather like a rainy day, like a real hot day. Enjoy all the different changes in the seasons and, and all the different temperatures. There's nothing you can do about it, so embrace it. Make it a positive thing. Another thing is the days of the week. Monday morning. So many people are depressed. Back to work. Um, don't look at it like that. I mean, if you really don't like your job and, and, and the way things are uh, that much where you're going to, to be depressed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I would start looking for something else to do. Um, I work with people who Monday morning they are depressed and miserable. Tuesday not doing so well. Wednesday they're starting to look up a little bit because it's humped back and closer to the weekend, closer to the weekend. Thursday, Friday they're all excited they got that weekend. Basically they're living two days out of seven. That's a little bit more than 25%, a little bit more than a quarter, it's about 28% actually, it's a little bit more than a quarter that they're looking forward to. In other words, they're wasting or not looking forward to almost three quarters of their life. So right there, I would say, don't let the weather affect your mood. Don't let the day of the week, the day of the week affect your mood. Embrace it, be happy. Everybody's gonna have good days and bad days, but don't let things you can't affect don't let things that you can't change affect you. Okay, now it's time to get to metabolism. Metabolism is just all the chemical reactions that each and every one of your cells does. You're, we're made up of about 75 to 100 trillion cells and each little cell, skin cell, pancreatic cell, heart cell, brain cell, each cell is its own little machine and each little machine needs its own energy. So if each one of my little cells is using less energy, that means my metabolism is slower. When my little cells use more energy, that means my metabolism is higher. So it's all the amount, all the amount of energy that all of your cells combined are using. That's your metabolism, sum total of the chemical reactions of all your cells, okay? So let's say I'm laying down in bed or I'm laying here on a table and I'm completely relaxed. I'm sleeping even or I'm just lying there. Every one of my cells is still burning energy, but they're not burning a lot of energy, okay? Um, now, but however, if I sit up, just sitting up, now I have muscle cells that I'm using just to hold me in that position where they're using more energy and therefore my metabolism is going up. If I get up and I walk across the room, now I have more muscle cells that are using those little machines need more energy to work. It's like putting gasoline into your car, okay? I take the gasoline, I put it into my car. Now that gasoline is a chemical energy, okay? Energy and bonds. But my engine takes that chemical energy and transforms it into mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is the energy that makes my wheels go. When we eat food, that's chemical energy as well. So we eat the food, it's chemical energy, it gets digested, it gets absorbed, it goes to our cells. Our cells take that chemical energy, our little machines, take that chemical energy from the food and then transform it into mechanical energy. Again, not making wheels go, but making our muscles contract, moving things around in our cells, making our neurons fire, making our heart pump, all these different things. That's why we eat food for the energy. When we burn that energy, the rate at which we burn that energy at, our food, that's metabolism. So what we want to do is we want to talk about um, how can we increase that rate of metabolism, right? Because whatever we don't burn, when we take food in, whatever we don't burn, remember, we store it. We store it as fat. So whether you're taking in carbohydrates, proteins, or fat, your body, whatever's not used by your metabolism, by your chemical reactions, is going to be converted into fat. So even if you eat fruit all day long, which is mainly carbohydrates, fruit's good for you. I endorse fruit, okay? However, if you eat fruit, 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 and you take in all that energy, but you don't burn all that energy, whatever's left over, your body is going to store. 
So, what sort of things can we do to increase metabolism? Well, first of all, you gotta make sure that you're getting enough energy, enough calories. If you go on a starvation diet, what's gonna happen is your body is going to slow down. Your metabolism is gonna slow way down because see, your body thinks it's starving. And when your body thinks it's starving, it's gonna try to save itself by not burning energy as much, conserving the energy. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you get minimum 1,200 calories or more depending on your level of activity. When you start, start dropping below 1,000 calories a day, your metabolism is going to, you're going to go into a starvation mode. Not a good thing. It doesn't work. Another thing is you want to eat breakfast because again, when you wake up, if you're not eating until noon or one o'clock, your body starts to think, okay, we're not getting food. We're not getting food. We don't know when we're getting food again. See, this is really based on our ancestors and how we got all of these thrifty genes, these energy efficient genes. You can read about that in my free ebook you can download in an exclusive Inner Circle Center. So I'm not gonna get into that, you can read all about that. But as far as um, breakfast, you wanna eat breakfast because you wanna get your metabolism revved up. You wanna eat regular meals, you wanna eat breakfast, maybe a snack, lunch, snack, dinner. Okay? And if you eat smaller amounts throughout the day, you're gonna keep that metabolism boosted. The other thing is simply, Move. I already told you, lying down, you're burning the least. Sitting up, you burn a little more. Walk across the room, you're burning more. Go jog, you burn more. Any kind of movement, aerobic exercise is excellent. Any kind of aerobic exercise, any kind of anaerobic exercise, weight training. Now here's the thing with weight training. I'm not talking about going in the gym and lifting 500 pounds or anything like that. I'm talking about increasing your muscle mass. Every single one of your muscle cells is a little machine that uses energy, right? So if you get more muscle mass, if you make those cells get bigger, they are going to be burning more energy even when you're lying down, right? So you want to increase muscle mass, increase muscle mass through weight training. Anything that you keep moving, you're going to burn calories. So here's some things to keep moving. You can, don't park so close to the parking lot. You don't need to when you're going shopping. By the way, shopping is a great way to burn calories. I love to shop. I love clothes, I love shoes, um, I love to shop. So if you like to shop, this is what you do. You go and you go to the mall and instead of going from store to store to store, although that does burn calories, go early and make yourself do a lap around the inside of the mall and then reward yourself with going into a store. Make yourself go through another lap around the mall, then go into another store and do some shopping, buy some nice shoes, some nice clothes, whatever you like, okay? Shopping's a great thing. Burns calories, right? Burns calories. Everybody needs a little retail therapy anyway. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so anyway, when you're going to the mall and you do those things, instead of waiting for that parking spot up close, Park as far back as you can. Take that extra walk. Those little things each and every day add up, burning calories, right? That's that's what this is all about. Take a dog for a walk. You don't have a dog, get a dog. Take the kid for a walk. Take the husband for a walk. Take the wife for a walk. Um, take the stairs instead of the escalator or the elevator. When you're sitting and watching TV, stretch. Stand up, because remember, sitting here, Okay, I'm burning a certain amount of calories, but if I just stand up, I'm burning more calories. And if I'm stretching when I'm watching TV, or if I want to do some extra exercises when I'm watching TV, take some soup cans, lift them over your head while you're watching TV. Do this with them. Any kind of extra movement you do, you're burning extra calories. This is what metabolism is, you see? Okay, hike, swim, bike ride, go good canoeing. Any kind of activity, anything you like. Uh, let's see, uh, rearrange the furniture in your house. Dust, vacuum, do the dishes, do laundry, um, massage someone, make out with someone, have sex with someone. And other things, go wash your car. Not as exciting as the previous, but burns calories, wash your car, wax your car, anything you do, keep moving, movement burns calories, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, this is Professor J saying keep moving and join me, become one of my friends, MySpace, Facebook, I need friends, I want friends, Professor J, secretloss.com saying I like you.